Morning, Tepo. Morning. Did you get a lift here? Or did you uh, come on your own? No, I should have given a lift myself. <laughs> you should actually. have. Yes. Yeah, you should have helped many, many people out yes. this morning. Okay, so, you know, we see these stories and go, why didn't I think of that? And it's about time. Tell us how it happened for you. How, when was your light bulb moment? Uh, it started about two years ago, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it happened while I was in Cape Town. Uh, Cape Town traffic is actually generally worse than uh, anywhere it? else in South Africa, okay. uh, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And I, I reflected on uh, my challenges in college uh, with getting to school, uh, getting your first job, um, having to take public transport to work. And generally, you're waking up two, two three hours earlier than a person with a car, yeah. you know. And then you have the challenge of earning your, your, your salary and choosing whether you move out of home or do you purchase a vehicle, you know. And if you do, it comes with insurance, it comes with petrol yeah. costs, maintenance. It's constant, yeah. So, um, and that's really the motivation of it. And if you think about it, you know, uh, we grew up in townships, so, you know, our parents uh, and ourselves had to take taxis in the morning to get to work, you know. So as they grow older, these things are not really ideal. Um, and that was the real motivation behind it. So how does the Lifty app work? Uh, in essence, what happens is uh, if I live in Soweto and I'm a car owner mm. um, and I've got neighbors, obviously, uh, within a five kilometer radius, okay. the app will curate. I'll post the ride um, Monday to Friday or on a specific date and my time and um, specify if I have a return trip. Um, I would post that ride. Uh, neighbors would also post as a passenger. You know, the app would curate them. I would um, match each other yeah. or see each other's profile. So on it's the like app. Tinder meets Uber. So Ex so. Exactly <laughs> okay. that. Yeah, it's yeah. a sharing economy. So uh, we just basically curate um, uh, between passengers and drivers. So this could vary. You could say it's a once-off. I'm offering a lift to somebody today. You could say, I'm doing this for the week, I'm doing it for the month, month I'm, I'm doing, doing it, it for the year, year or whatever. So it, it, okay. it basically accommodates our daily work commute and long distance travel. So you can do it as a once-off trip, whether maybe your car's in service this particular day or you want to schedule it uh, on a Monday to Friday basis. Are there costs involved? Do you have to pay that person? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, the cost involved is the passenger. We work with um, bank cars on our platform, so um, just like an Uber would. Okay. So you enter your bank card uh, and then at the end of the trip uh, your uh, account will be debited. Mm -hmm. That money will go into the driver's uh, Lifty wallet and deposit it to them every single week. So who determines how much for a trip? How do you work uh, There's out? actually legislation and, and law around this. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a cross between the Department of Transport and uh, SARS of course. So they're all so behind the app? They're all sort of... Look, we, we got clarity behind okay. the legalities okay. of it, uh, which is uh, we are allowed to charge anything be, uh, below 3 Rand 50, as stipulated by the AA and SARS, which is not a taxable income. But we charge uh, our pricing range, it ranges from 2 Rand uh, per kilometer, all, per the way kilometer. Yes, okay. all the way down to 75 cents. We charge in tiers uh, because the more kilometers you travel, the cheaper it should become. Uh, so we are in line with our taxi fares or public transport fares. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms Uber, of taxi fares. We are way cheaper. We're about 80%, 75% cheaper. They're charging about 7 Rand 50 per kilometer. We start at 2 Rand per kilometer going all the way down to 75. And of course you take into consideration when fuel price hikes, uh, when we have those hikes yes, and the so, prices yes, go up. So it, it of change. course, you know, uh, we obviously don't want to change that uh, too often because it often goes up then down, uh, you know, a few months later. Yeah. So we have to be steady with how we adjust our prices. So how's it working so far? I understand it's already... The response is actually awesome. Um, I, I must say we've been very overwhelmed. Um, we've been doing uh, activations at uh, intersections, obviously social media. And, you know, there are a lot of questions, so we have to educate people about how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, people are concerned about the safety aspect. I was just, that was my next question. I didn't want to be the voice of well, doom, but how, um, do you, how do you prevent criminals from taking advantage of this? I mean, we heard the story of the woman who was allegedly raped by the, or raped allegedly by the Uber drivers, you know, that kind yes. of thing. People might? Well, we actually uh, take very strong measures to do that. So when you sign up to the app, we require you to fill out your ID number. With, within the 120 seconds of you signing up, we check it with the Department of Home Affairs. Okay, so you're checking. Yes. Okay, you do the background uh, checks. Yes. Right. Okay, all right. So let's see how it goes. Thank you. Okay, then we just have to download the app. Download the app on uh, Google Play Store or Google. Apple. Okay. Or you can visit, uh, check out our website on www.lifty.com or mm -hmm. .co.za. Or you can contact us uh, at info at lifty.com mm -hmm. uh, if you wish to find out more. Fantastic. Well, I wish yes. you all the luck with it. What a great idea. And yes. I'm crossing my fingers that it works as Thank well you. as you wanted to. Thank you. 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 Thank